What's up everybody, Gaming Gargoyle here, and welcome back to No Place Like Home. So I've gone and I've put into this room here, I've thrown in some of the wallpapers in this chest, and I've thrown all the decorations we've collected in here, as well as those four books that are left over from the uh, placeholders from Early Access. Now we do have uh, two more rooms that we can go through here. Let's see if we find any goodies. Any chests? No, no suitcases. Yes, I use those words interchangeably. Let's see, we've got one over here. Another room, that is. So the first room we unlocked, there was a uh, suitcase inside. But there doesn't seem to be any more suitcases. Which is fine. So we still have to get uh, watermelon salad so we can unlock that one with Frank. But for now, folks, we forgot about a pet. we got to go get that kitty. I'll meet you there. Hello. Oh, honey. I think I have some on me. I do. All right. Uh, honey. There we go. Animal helped. Awesome. All right. So now we got the kitty. We can go start the quest for finding Lily. I believe that's the next one that we had to do. Yes. Find Lily in Frozen Peaks. So we'll go ahead and do that. The animal adventures. We just need to find Cornelius in the dusty desert. So I'll see you folks at Lily's door. So in order to find Lily upon exit from your fast travel in Frozen Peaks, you just head to the right. Just follow along. Now don't go too far right because you'll end up in that area of the garage. You want to cut it over in here. And you'll just want to follow this little canyon area. All the way up to where we found the first set of snowballs there. And I think they probably uh, would have respawned by now too. So we might be able to pick up a couple more. Let's go through. I'm not seeing any. And they're really hard to see in the daytime. So they haven't respawned yet. If they respawn. I'm not sure if they do anymore. Oh, see? Every time I go by, I find more trash. Here we go. This is the entrance to Lily's area. Now, thankfully, in the last episode at the end there, if you didn't make it, you should go check it out. We picked up some of those upgrades, so hopefully those will come in handy for today. Those who know what it is, leave me a comment down below. What upgrades did I grab in the last episode? Uh, I'm really hoping that now it will make things a little bit quicker. That's for sure. <laughs> I know I'm enjoying them so far. Definitely. As always, guys, going into new zones and that loading screen is going to take a while. I do have an older PC, so that could also have a lot to do with it as well. You may, uh, you know, PC's performance may vary depending on user. All right, let's just go this way. Let's see. Clean all this up. Let me run through here. Yeah, here it is. All right. Lily is well hidden behind all this stuff here. There she is. If I broke it, I gotta take it for a talk to her. Alright, there we go. Lily! Tread softly, girl, because you tread on my flowers! Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see them. Those are indeed nice flowers. If we only took the same amount of energy that goes into destroying this planet and channeled it into understanding the complexity of the relationships in this ecosystem, we'd do just fine. <clears throat> but it takes too much effort to understand, and people these days just find it easier to keep everything separate, I guess. I need a drink. Her voice is threatening to crack on me doing the ladies. But where are my manners? I'm Lily, the resident bot botanist, and uh, who do I have the pleasure of meeting for the first time? Not that's unusual, these thing, uh, the uh, thing these days. I'm Ellen. I'm looking for Max Newland, my grandpa. Oh, Max. Now that's a man I haven't spoken with for a very long time. I thought I saw him passing by a while ago, but uh, I wasn't sure, and he didn't stop for a chat, so uh, I'm sorry, Helen. Uh, do you know my grandpa? Everyone here knows your grandpa. He was a brilliant scientist back in the day. He came up with the most systems related to life preservation on Mars. He was quite a rock star back in the day. We used to work together for a while. Oh, so do you know he has a brother? Oh, well, I guess they'd both rather say they had a brother. They uh, had a falling out many years ago, but that's all I know, Ellen. Do you have any idea um, where he could have gone? Hmm, 
not really. If I had a guess, then maybe the sunken city, but they couldn't have made it. Why? For starters, this place has been cut off from the mainland and the sea is filled with dangerous garbage. Robots that can sink almost any boat. That'd be enough to stop most people from going there, but I think there might be some way to get there through the desert. But the way there... Let me guess, it's blocked. Yes, but giant toxins, frozen toxins. Same ones that you can see on the ice wall across the railroad. Is there anything we can do about it? I think so. We can even hit two birds with one stone, so to say. Just don't ever tell Jay I ever said that. Alright, fine, Lily and Frozen Peaks is done. So, how can I help you, Lily? Well, uh, you see this factory around us? It's broken down and abandoned, but it's responsible for polluting everything around here. All these wonderful plants and mushrooms are just gone. Even more worrying is the condition of the sheeps I've seen around here. They were poisoned by these factory toxins. Unfortunately, I can't help them out until I have the right ingredients. What needs to be done, then? I've been trying to come up with a solution for a while now. I think I found it, but it's somewhat crazy. Tell me. The railroad. It doesn't operate anymore, but we could get it back alive for a moment to break this wall of toxic ice and get the ingredients for the antidote. All we need is some spare parts, some algae, and a mighty machine that's been lost to time. And that's where the plan collapses. I've heard people speaking that way before. Uh, do you have the, the bulbulator in mind? Yes, the great bulbulator. You read my mind, you clever, clever girl. Too bad nobody managed to replicate it after your grandfather's originals destroyed all those years ago. Oh, don't worry. I know someone who managed to do it. So, the algae, spare parts, and the bulbulator? Exactly, Helen. If you manage to get all of these things, just go to the top of the railway, assemble all the items, and send them down the tracks to break the wall and clean the toxins. You'll be surprised how well it will work. Bombastic, I would say. Now, go. We have some sheep to save. All right, we've got to destroy the toxic wall of ice. In order to do that, what worked once might work again. That's why I need to ask Greedy from the village if he still has the bulbulator. This will be where the first step into curing the sheep. Then I must collect five algae. They're in the village uh, near the lake. To fix the minecart, I must collect three minecraft parts. After all that, I can rebuild the minecart and put the the put their bulbulator and put their put put the bulbulator filled with algae. It will crush this ice wall. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. That's a little backwards for talking about, but basically, okay, so we got to find uh, three parts. They're in this area. I'll clean it up, find those with you. Then we'll go find the five pieces of algae, and then we'll go talk to Rudy about the bulbulator. So the little area is now clean, so we got a piece of parts here. And I did it again. I went to press forward, and I ended up pressing the E key. Give me a controller any day. Um, but yeah, I made, a, I made a grievous error. I accidentally grabbed one of the railroad parts, and it is hidden. Right over here. So, yeah. Uh, I went to press forward and I end up hit pressing E and pick up the part. But that's uh, where the second part is. Now we'll come over and we'll grab the third part. It's just inside this building here. It's pretty easy to locate. Right here. Boom. There we go. So we now have the three parts for the quest. Three of three. Now we got to go collect five algae and then get the bulbulator again. So, uh, we'll rip around and show you folks here the wall. So this is the wall that we got to smash. We got to get in behind there. Over here in this corner, we'll find ourselves There's some more trash hanging up there apparently. Oh, there we go. Just had to run a mile away from it. And we'll get some more of these snowballs. So there's another chest that's over just beyond this rise. Right here. Lantern on a tree. Neat. Alright, and then there's a bunch of little snowballs here as well. And in behind here, as you can see, there's another feather. But, okay, it's getting late. I will go to sleep, and then I will meet you folks over at the village to pick up the algae in the morning. I see garlic in our inventory. I was just about ready to boogie on the way over to that village, and then I saw this, and I was like, ooh. We need to get this planted. 
So I decided to come up on the back side of the uh, lake here. So we can gather all of these, and then when we're done, when we come out, we see Rudy. Uh, we'll just come out on Rudy's place there. Instead of having to run all the way around to here and then run all the way back. And I also, just in case, I brought some more strawberries. Just, 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 just in case there was another fox or two that we happened to have seen running around looking for a home. We'll help you get meat up there, bud. You'll find the love of your life over there. Just join the den. Let's see, just keep looking around. Aha, here's another one. Okay, you can hear them. They're all having fun over here. There's another buddy going to be joining you folks there soon. There's that old flower. Or flower, feather. Flower. Blah, blah. Got ourselves another algae. Uh-oh. There we go. See, I'm not seeing any more running around loose. So I'm hoping we've helped all the foxes. Just trying to be all extra friendly to it. Alright, let's check our quest now. We should have five. Yes, we do. Let's go get the bulby later. Again. So we gotta go talk to Rude Dude Rudy just on the other side of this door. Look at that. Tell me, Rudy, do you still have that bulb later? I sure do. Are there still some problems with pollution in the valley? There are frozen toxins in mountains that split from the factory and we need to get rid of them. Yeah, do you think your bulb later will do the trick again? I sure hope so. I would be so happy if I could help those as well. Here, take it, and let me know how it went. Will do, Rudy. Thank you. All right. We are on our way to go find Lily. Hmm. I just had a thought. Before I go see Lily and uh, the railway to get this quest going, I think I'd uh, want to show you folks here that we got the kitty cats at home, and I built the raccoon hut as well. So when we go up to the minecart... We should hopefully uh, be able to have the garlic. And we'll tame the raccoon as well. Oops. Apparently that guy wants a bath. Alright, pup. You're dirty. There you go. Better? Better. So we have the garlic growing. I'll be back when this is all grown up. We'll grab whatever we can for uh, upgrades on our way to uh, get the minecart going. Get through that ice wall. Aha! First place to check for upgrade. Rudy! I think it was Trash Extractor, wasn't it? Yes. Sweet. Trash Extractor. Alright. Higher chance for even more resource drops. See, this was, uh... All of the other was cranberries, right? Yep. Okay, so... I'll meet you at Mark's. So, Mark was a bust. We've purchased everything from him. Let's go see Harold. Want for some more piggy business? I just love this guy. Alright, let's see. Is there anything else here we can get from him? Oh, Cubebots launch. And a solar power station. I never went through these pages. Let's do this. Now, can we bypass his... Uh... No, you can't go to his house to bypass the dialogue. Okay, let's see. Shop. There we go. Alright. You are done, sir. Thank you. So, okay. Off to see Jay, because I think she needed garlic for something. Alright, Jay's was a bust, too. Let's go see this raccoon. That will help. Alright, thank you. We'll see you at home, buddy. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we got the three parts. We'll fix it up. Well, it was taking too long, so I went home. I slept. I came back, and it's ready. So let's add the bulbulator and that in there. Now, if we come over here... You take a look. We got ourselves a beautiful button to press. But I'm going to take a screening. Let's just get uh, Ellen zoomed in there. Just, let's hope. Let's hope one of those will work. All right. So you want this to happen? You press the button with the E key. You destroy the toxic wall of ice and return to Lily. So as you can see, it's gone. This cart's still here. Nothing else happens. And so the fruits of our labor. This area is all opened up. So. 
basically, let's go talk to Lily. I'll come back in here. There's no big bad guys. You just got some mid-level greenies. No big purple guys that I can think of. So I'll just clean this all up. And then we'll go in there and gather all the items once again. First, we must talk to Lily. Congratulations, Ellen. <clears throat> Congratulations, Ellen. That was amazing. At least this place is free from all this disgusting slime. And you can use your device on the slime walls and get to the desert. But before you go, would you help me out in saving the sheep? Definitely. What do I need to do? I wasn't wrong about you then. That really warms my heart. I'd require certain mushrooms from across the valley. They'll be the last missing ingredient. I need to create an antidote for these poor animals. Sure thing, Rose. Anything for the sheep. The little asked me if I can help, help her cure the sheep. I need to find some special mushrooms somewhere in the area behind that ice wall I've destroyed. All right, let's do it. I shall go walk into a, a chain wall and uh, go clean things up. So, got that area cleaned out, and it occurred to me I'm like 89% sure that I need to have another pigsty for the sheep. So, I'm going to build a cow shed, because I don't see anything else um, to deal with sheep. This is pigsty poop, so I'm pretty sure it's the, the cow shed. So, I'm going to bring it over here. Uh, place it somewhere, hopefully. That Q-Bot isn't going to interfere. So if you need to, you can just beat the, uh, the Q-Bot around with the fence. The corner. There you go. Uh, let's have them face their buddies over there. Oh, you little... Sweep. Go. Go away. Go away. Go away. It was there for a second. And then pig over here. Alright, there we go. Ah. Okay, good enough. This is that way. Now I'm pretty sure, if I'm right, we're going to be needing this for sheep. So let's go find Lily. Let's clean up that area. Alright, the area's cleaned out. Let's go clear it out. Here we go. So, coming up over to starting from the left, working our way around to the right, and exiting once again when we're done. We've got ourselves a snowball, a suitcase. Another snowball. Never did find anything down in here. It is a nice little area. So coming around, just holding on the left-hand side. Ooh, I, I do like these frozen fungi. They may be fun, but they're done. I'll start off with this fungus. Now something that you'll notice here is that there's no access into here, right? So we got to unlock that. I'll show you where that is. It's one of the buckets. It's a it's a bucket bucket puzzle. So down in here is a nice little cool little waterfall area. I like it. I like it. The only thing is that I'm scared of is this this little pond here. Where does all that water go? I'm not going in that part. Uh uh. That looks deep. Now if you come over here and look at this, I'm like yeah, okay, I'll play in here no play all day long. I ain't going in that other area. That water just disappears beneath the ground. I'm uh, I don't want to go with it. And get this snowball. There we go. Some fungus over here. So that's three fungus already. Might as well grab this now. Recycle materials, mushroom sample. Oh, no place like home picture. Ah, oh, cool. Some fungus. There's a sheep, but he wants some antidote. More fungus. Suitcase. Pizza margarita. Wheat, tomatoes, cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I'm too far away for it to activate. There we go. So that's the bucket. Then you gotta fill up in order to unlock that. Ooh, got another witch's hat. Nothing up in here. Okay. And I already grabbed the suitcase right there. Yes, I did. So that should leave us with another snowball. A suitcase, fungus, and then the chair. Mushroom hat. There we go. We got the five fungi. Chair. Hmm. I thought there was another snowball. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. I think there was a group of some of them somewhere. I can't remember where, but yeah. 
If you need him for the decorating for the snowman and that, that's where you find him. In this area here. Go talk to Lily! 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 You've got a bunch of good stuff. What can we do now? Perfect, Alan. I have some bad news, though. After a careful examination, I learned that these won't do the full trick after all. There's still at least a, a last toxic leak at the swamps, and it had another layer of complexity to our problem. Please fix the leak and grab some herbs that grow there. They've built natural immunity to toxins, and they'd be essential for a final antidote. All right, we uh, we got the mushrooms done. Now we got to fix three leaking pipes. So the sheep's health won't be better if there's any toxic leaks. So I must find all the leaking pipes, put some filters on them. Then, and only then, the valley will finally be clean and uh, clear. Those sheeps will recover. So, all right, let's do that. Let's go collect some fenugreeks. And find some pipes and fix some pipes. Here we go. Here's the zone that Lily needs us to clear out in order for us to get the filters and those, uh, what are they calling them? Fenugreeks? So let's just uh, burn through here a little bit, give you a layout of land. This is also the way that you get yourself into... Oh, I already got all three of three done, so sorry, but you don't have a home. Uh, this is also the way you get to the dusty desert as well. It's right over behind over here somewhere, and I'm stuck, though. No. Let me out of there. Oh, I thought I had to hit them both. There we go. Is it behind here, I think? Yes. So this is the uh, entrance to the dusty desert. Right here. We got some bad guys who like to spit on us from over here. And down in here there's some more baddies. Oh hey, there's a boar. There you go, boar. Uh, have one. Oh man. I hate it when they lock you in a place like that. Okay. That one's gone. And some more baddies over here. Is there one more? I thought there was one more. Maybe over in here somewhere. But these are the uh, fenugreeks in that, but yeah, I'll come back. I'll grab all these uh, filters and fenugreek with you once this area is uh, all cleaned up. Phew, area is clean, but it's getting dark, so let's rip through this as fast as we can, shall we? We'll grab the suitcase here. Ooh, poutine. Nice. Eggplant casserole. Ooh, that sounds actually pretty good. And nothing over there. One here. Now, I don't know how many exactly filters we're going to need, so I'm not going to grab all of them. I'm just going to grab them as I need them. There's one in particular I want to get rid of because it's right in the way. Okay, so... Eh. This one, right here. You first. You come with me. You, go here. Then you Greek. Fenugreek. Not Fenugreek. That's a feather. One there. And then we need one for over there. Let's grab this one. Put you there. There we go. Three leaky pipes finished. Gotta go visit Lily. And... Is that three Fenugreek that we need? Or do we need five? I think we only need three. Yep, three. All right, uh, let's go see... Lily! Lily, I have the fenugreek and I have fixed the filters. Thank you, Helen. Here, take this antidote and minister it to all the sheep. I'm on it. Cure and befriend five sheep. Let's do it. Finally, I have a cure for sheep's intoxication. Now I just need to feed them with medicine. They will get better and hopefully join my herd. All right, let's try it out. Animal befriended. One sheepy weepy. And the rest are all in here. So if you ever need more chickens, there's more here. Oh, yeah, I forgot that there is a snowball. There's a snowball's chance that I forgot one or two or three or four. 
quite a many, I would I would think. So we come over here, and we can finish this level off by grabbing that last chest. It gives us ratatouille, eggplant, peppers, tomato, onions. And we got ourselves another snowball. Oh, there's another snowball down there. See, like, it's easy to miss these things in the bright daylight. You gotta come in, like, early morning hours or dusk. Nighttime's uh, a little bit easier. Okay. We only got two more sheepies left. Oh, sheepies. Don't be shy. That one's done. I swear I saw another snowball somewhere. And finally. Quest complete. Sheep grand finale. Return to Lily. Let's do it. Lily, my darling. See how happy they are? All thanks to you, Alan. Now go to the desert and find a way to get Max. But before you're on your way again, I think you're ready to hear some of the things about your grandfather's past. That is, if you want to. Oh uh, yeah, tell me everything. Spill the beans. What's the gossip? Come on, come on. Like I said before, I used to work with Max back in the day. When most of the population left for Pause, we decided to stay here. And, <clears throat> then he came up with the design uh, for what you know now as the uh, Bobulator. That's not what it was called, and what we used it for, it's not its real purpose, but uh, initially, along with your back pal, these machines were supposed to help us uh, out in uh, cleaning up the mess uh, we made of our planet. They were much more powerful than the models you have here, and as you can imagine, dangerous. Uh, something happened, right? Well, yes, your grandfather was uh, against building them in the original form, much more powerful form, called them unstable, unnatural even. He said that the only way to bring back Earth to its natural state was to learn how to appreciate it again, to work with our own hands. His brother in turn was hell bent on finishing the project. He kept saying that their only hopes was because we'll never manage to clean up the mess we've made, not in a thousand lifetimes. And as you've guessed at some point, there was an accident and Nick, your grandfather's brother, was consumed by his idea to clean up everything in one big swoop, and he had a reason. After all, years of hard work put a toll on his health. I'm sure he was scared that he'd never see this work done in his lifetime. Here on Earth, nor will he find himself useful on Mars. But I'm quite certain that something he hoped for the most was that if the cleans the valley fast enough, he'll be able to convince his family and stay. Your grandfather tried to convince him to slow down, but it only made him push himself more. They quarreled, and then an accident happened. And the valley was flooded with trash with such an unbelievable amount that even the most convinced and determined of Nick's supporters decided to leave, and that broke him completely. <clears throat> oh, to, not to mention that he ruined his brother's work at the same time, after, and after that they've never spoken again. That accident trash flood, was it, uh, a few weeks ago? Was it the same as a few weeks ago? Yes, but this one was not so bad in comparison to what has happened before. Nevertheless, I am afraid that Nick is trying to resurrect his experiment and it may end up very bad for us all. Now go carry on with your quest. I hope you find what you'll have been looking for. Alright, so, we've been sent to Dusty Deserts. Let's see if there's anything left here that we need to do. Oh, there's still a quest. There's still a quest. Something that we have to do. I don't know. Maybe we have to befriend all the boars, maybe? I'm not sure, but that's going to have to wait until next episode. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you have, consider leaving me a like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification on all, because I also go live. And thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Special and big shout outs to all my members of the channel. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I love speaking with you folks. Um, the support 
is unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, other than that, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you have yourself a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, good night. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you took the time to kick back, relax, unwind, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later!